Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing very well. I'm going to take a minute here and share something that I have held for quite a while. I haven't done a video since last September, September 2015. I uh, have mentioned many times in my videos that I tend to have dreams and that all too often the dreams actually come true. There's a lot going on around us right now and anybody paying any attention can see how unnerving it is. There are things taking place that just make no sense. There's other things taking place that we can actually foresee. We can see it coming. One of the main things that I think we see that we should be paying a lot of attention to is the uh, the voice uh, openly that no matter who uh, is voting, that should one particular candidate get in by number of delegates, that that isn't going to count that they're going to jump in and put somebody else in that place and you know it, it cheating it's cheating quite some time ago it was probably in July or August of last year more like August I think I had a dream and the dream was so lucid and in color so real that when I woke up, I was trembling. I was shaking. I'm going to share that dream. Now, keep in mind, I am not a prophet. I don't claim to see the future. I don't have any special skills. Um, what I do have is periodically I'll have dreams that actually do come to fruition. They do happen. I don't know how this happens. I don't know why it happens, but it does. And that's a fact. I'm not a nut. I'm not some kind of crazy. Uh, and the only reason that I'm sharing this is because it has been advised to me, to my family, that I should share it, or by my family, that I should share it. And also by friends here on YouTube. Do I know if it means anything? No. Can I tell you what the dream means? Not at all. Can I piece it together and see how it fits in our reality and what's going on around us? Absolutely. Does it make my hair stand on end? It certainly does. Am I concerned? More than I can even put into words. And that's why I'm going to share it. If anybody has any knowledge of what dreams mean or an opinion on this dream, please share it with me. The first thing that I want to point out is that through this dream there are certain things happening that fit with the news and one might think, well, you know, you were just thinking about it and that's why you dreamt it. Not at all. Not at all why I dreamt it. That I know. The dream starts out with me in a mini mall a little strip mall, little businesses connected together. And I'm in one that appears to be like a ceramic shop or glassware, something on that line, maybe China, Chinaware, beautiful stuff. And I'm looking at it, and I turn and I face the outside window where I can see the street. And then I look to my left, or to my right, and I see a doorway. Beyond the doorway, there is a table, and there are three men. Two of the men have, like, ninja gear on that's black. Their heads are covered. Part of their face is covered. All I can see is their eyes, and the rest of the gear is black. One man is all dressed in black, and all I see on him is a bearded face. And they're working at this table. I see pipes. I see wires and odds and ends. But I'm watching one man connect these things 
and I know in my mind he's building a bomb. And I'm thinking, why? That instant, why? The one man that does not have, that has his face bare, except for bearding and hair, he turns and looks right at me. And he gives me a very threatening look. Then he turns to say something to the other two men, which I cannot understand. I don't understand what he's saying. However, I know that I need to run. So I race out the door, and as I go out the door, I see that there's a parade, a big parade with floats and a person with a baton and a band and all these different people marching, and they've got American flags, and they're excited. You know, uh, you can just feel it. I see all of it, and I see it in color, and it's gorgeous. This wonderful parade coming down the street. Then I look to my right again and to my left at the sidewalk and I see that there are people lined up all over. People on bleachers, people sitting on the curbs, as you would see in a town watching all the people watching the parade. But all the people on this side of the street are of color. I don't know what I'm supposed to say anymore. Am I supposed to say blacks? Am I supposed to say Afro-Americans? I don't know what I'm supposed to say to be politically correct, but they're people of color. I see the parade coming and I keep looking at the people and I glance and I see the man coming after me, the man that spotted me watching. So I race through the parade to the other side of the street and I start running and I note that everybody on this side of the street are of lighter skin, fair skin, white people. Now friends, before I go any further, please, please use your common sense, no matter the color of your skin. There is no such thing as white people. There is absolutely no such thing as black people. There is no black and white. We are all colored. We are all colored. I am not white, nor am I black. Neither are you, none of you. Not even an albino is white. That is a deliberate thing that they've done to us through history. There is no black and white. And our country, just like the world, is multicolor. We are all colored. But in this dream, they have us divided. We're divided by the parade, by the street, by the curbing. I see a group of security. Oddly, they're not watching the parade or the people. They have their backs to us, as if they're facing the wall of a building. And they're standing there. I race up to them and I try to tell them that there's three men that appear to be making a bomb. One of the security people turn around to me and tell me to mind my own business. I said, you don't understand, they're building a bomb. I saw it, there's three men, and I'm trying to describe them. And the, the security actually threatens me and tells me to shut my mouth, to get out of here. What is happening is meant to happen, and either I mind my own business or I will be eliminated. I believed him. I ran, found an alley, went down the alley, around a building, up through another alley, started down the street again, because at the end of the street, where the parade is headed, I see a bandstand. On the bandstand, I see the podium and a mic. The front of the bandstand 
and above the bandstand, I can see the red, white, and blue banners and ribbons and the round big buttons that you used to see tying the ribbons together. They would drape down like this and they had the big button in the middle. So in my mind, I know it's election. The parade is headed to the, ele to the bandstand. It's coming down the street. So this event, the parade, and then a space, and then the bandstand. So the parade, a space, the bandstand. I make it to another group. Now the first group of security had a gray, almost this color, uniform. And it was made of, of like a lycra material, very odd. But I saw their badges and the emblems on them, noting that they were security. The second group of security I found were wearing blue. Blue and almost a khaki color, an odd color odd combination, but they too had the same emblems and security. In this group, same thing. They're not facing the people. They're not paying attention to the bandstand. They're not watching the parade. They have their backs to the people, backs to the parade. Again, facing the building side as if facing the wall. In the group, there's a woman. Because the first one was a man, I thought, talk to her. So I started the same thing. There's three men in there. They're building this, and this is what's going on. This is what I saw. Again, I get attacked and told to shut up. This woman actually reaches for a weapon in her, um, in her belt. I can't think of the word. In her belt, she reaches for this weapon and tells me, leave now or what you're seeing happen has to happen. It's planned. Well, believe me, I took off running. And I keep watching and, and seeing what's going on. And in my mind, I can see just as clear the division of the people. You know, the colored over here, the white here, the parade. And I'm racing towards the bandstand. At the left-hand side, as I face the bandstand, I see the president. Underneath the right-hand side, I see the man that was after me knelt down underneath the bandstand with this thing that they had built, which I'm assuming to be a bomb. And he's placing it. So I start screaming. And I'm yelling, Mr. President, Mr. President. There's nobody at the mic. The person's not there at the podium. There is nobody. I look back at the president, and I'm, I've got my hand up in the air yelling at him. And he starts laughing. And he laughs. The most wicked, horrible laughter. And I turn and I see that the parade has not made it to the bandstand. They're still quite a ways off. But it's coming down the road. I turn back to look at him. And I hear the shuffling of security behind me. And I'm startled into waking up. The end of the dream. What does it mean? I don't know. But it's haunted me every day. I have tried numerous times to do a video. Friends, family, I don't know if there's going to be an election. I don't know. What I see when I analyze this dream, and because there's been several other dreams, two in particular that are very prophetic, along with this one, that I haven't shared yet, I see the parade. Could that be 4th of July? When else between now and then, or last September, and then 
between last September and in November for the elections, when is there going to be a parade? The only one I see is the 4th of July. The next parade would be Thanksgiving. So I only see the July, 4th of July parade. The space between the parade and the bandstand would be calendar. The distance between July, August, September, October, November. The space. The president laughing. Security not doing their job. The division of us people. The division that is taking place and has been taking place. Very hot right now. The division of we, the people. Now, friends, if we don't unite and disregard and dismiss, throw away the putrid garbage of division, we are all in this together. This is our country. We are all Americans. There is evil taking place, wickedness. You know, one nation under God, one of many nations under God. We're in this together. If something's going to happen, is there going to be martial law? Is that why he was laughing? Has he stopped something? Is there not going to be an election? The division of people, are we going to start going against one another to where martial law is, is actually implemented? You know, God, please not let that happen. You know, uh, We're all colored. We're all colored. There is no black and white. We're in this together. They want to take Trump down. You guys need to question that. Why would they be so hell-bent on taking Trump down? Because he's not in the D.C. club. It's that simple. He is not in the D.C. club. They can't afford for him to get in. They cannot let him in. Too many secrets. Too many hidden things. Too many hidden spells. He cannot get in office, according to them. He'll let the cats out of the bag. The truth will come flying out. Change will be made. The snake's going to come out. The head's going to be chopped off. They can't. It's up to us to make sure that the DC club is gotten rid of, that it is disposed of, that it is no longer. I don't know if the dream meant anything. I know that I'm very shook up by it, and I have been for months. I haven't been able to get on here and talk because every time I wanted to talk about the dreams and friends and family, I have got some other dreams that will just blow your mind. Are they just dreams? I don't know. Do they mean something? Boy, they're awful real, awful lucid and in color. Do they fit what's going on? Yes. Are we in danger with this influx of of uh, people that we don't know, people that mean ill on us? Yes. I have a daughter. I have granddaughters. I have got nieces. We have got children that we need to think of. Look at what they're doing in Europe. Look at what they're doing in France. Is that what we want for America? Is that what we want for our children? God help us. If this does not stop, if we don't unite, if we don't get past the division of people, how can there be hope? That is our hope. We must unite. 
And I say we all jump on the same bandstand and that we vote for the one person that does not belong to the club. Just saying. Don't think I'm trying to sway you. I'm trying to save us. Something's wrong. Something's not right. Too much devious. They're, they're already saying openly they're going to cheat on our votes. They're going to tear up our ballots. Are you going to accept that? Be careful planning things for your 4th of July. Pay attention. Keep, keep your eyes on things. Be observant. Work together. Please. A false flag? I don't know. I know what I see. And I know that it's haunted me. And I know that even as much as I pray about it, I'm told to share it. I spoke to friends on YouTube yesterday. They said share it. So I'm sharing it. I'm nobody special. I'm just you. The same as you. I'm colored like you. There is no white. There is no black. I love you all. And by the way, friends, Skybird Bird passed away. If you knew her, you were honored. She was beautiful. One of my best friends. We spoke all the time on the phone. She's left us. The MS finally took her down. What a loss. Margaret Pfeiffer couldn't handle the stress. The stress of YouTube and the the attacks from trolls and the nastiness. She needed a break. So she turned off her internet. She's gone for a while. Hopefully she'll come back. We talk every day, or nearly every day, on the phone. Beautiful person. Anyway, great big hugs and a whole bunch of love. Be safe. If you have any idea what the dream might have meant, please tell me. Talk to me. And for anybody that wants to be nasty, God bless you. Now's the time to work together, not against each other. No division. We have to stop it. We're the only ones that can. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love, guys. Later.